Here you are. V2 class engine, three cylinder, runs really well. And your name? Doug McLeod. Thank you. You won just recently yeah. in the trophy. Yeah, competition, yeah, with, a, yeah. with another uh, green engine, LNER P2. Yeah. So another three cylinder, sucker for punishment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do a lovely job. It's beautiful. Just steaming up at present. Well, that I'm gonna, I'll have a look at that. Yeah. I wasn't aware of that. You know where the, the, the roof is? Yeah. The flat bit's there. He's actually cut it, the tin so the tin lifts out with the square. Oh, that's a clear. Okay, I can manage. And that gives you a bigger, a bigger, bigger window. bigger window to get in there to see it. I have a look at that. Yeah, okay, I wasn't aware of that one. Okay. All right then. The cabs together and sitting on. I had to put a whole new throttle assembly on the front end because even though I fixed up the rods at first, it was still the leverage for the lever I had next to the ball valve was just too short. It just wasn't going to be a success. So that that boiler out. And our plumbing wall had to come off anyway. I'm um, getting set now to re plumb things back up with the cab sitting in position. And uh, I'm working on having it all 100% done now for um, the run at Wagga. First weekend in that. PJ from Innisfail. Um, it was Ian Scott, wasn't it? Originally built yeah. it, I think. And I got hold of it and pulled it right down to um, Chazzy and rebuilt it again. It's got a stainless steel boiler in it. Uh, wet back now. Hopefully it goes good again. <laughs> it's been going good. It just had a little bit of a hizzy fit the other day at Grantchester, but other than that, it's going, been going really well. What is it? PB15, Queensland okay. Okay. QR. The old EH6 Queensland Railways um, locomotive. Battery electric. We'll give it a run on this track for the first time. And see how it goes. Lovely. Thank you. What is your name? Michael. Mike Mike Davin from Townsville. Thank you, Mike. No, I don't run the screws right down, just enough to stop from flying off somewhere. I'll have to tie the two boards together. My name's Carl. Uh, and where are you from, Carl? We're from Port Stephens. Right. Um, Anna Bay. Great. And Greg's in yeah, Sinai at the moment, you know, so he'll be running around on the Yeah, planet. perfect. All right. Perfect. What is it? That's all it's a uh, planet uh, train. If he runs at night, um, he's got a light. And we call it Pluto. All right. Thank Who you. Won't? That's a sweet pea. And you've come for track and tent. I have. I haven't seen much of you here. No, I'm a new member. I live about three kilometres away. Oh, <laughs> so it's nice well, and easy. Welcome. So, thank you. This logo was built by Joe Burrell in 1986, so um, she has had a lot of use over the last 20 years, but yeah, we've got it all fired up again, she's going well, so very happy with it. Thank you.
Which I built them side by side, basically. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. She's had a fair bit more use than this one, though. Yeah. Been I a like constant to, use over the last 30 odd years. This one. I like to record the history of them. Yeah, yeah I'll get checked out for I haven't sighted him. name and what do we have here? My name is Max CT and what I've got here is a steam outline electric locomotive. It's based on the War Department's austerity Hunslet design and it's built by Roger Jones who is just right beside me. How are you doing? You're Roger Jones. That's me. It's also Hello. a mill in the RJ94. Uh, all right. And back to you, Matthew. And uh, you're giving it a run today? Hopefully. <laughs> Has it been very... on the track before? No. It's ah, his first, first run. run. Oh, I'll look forward to seeing you on the track. <laughs> Me too. Well, thank, thank you, Matthew. That's all right. with you today? Yes, I do actually. I've got a, uh, a five inch gauge uh, Nigel Gresley. It was built by uh, my father, the late Bill Kirkland. It's a model of a London North Eastern Railways uh, 280, um, classified as a class 01. Uh, the loco has been up here at, um, <coughs> at uh, Pine Valley on numerous occasions over the years. Been to quite a few conventions in various states in New South Wales and uh, it's like a taxi, it just keeps keeps going. So. That's wonderful. Uh, Could you tell me your name and where are you from? My name is uh, David Kirkland and I'm the uh, president of uh, Western Districts Live Steamers at uh, Fairfield in Sydney. So. Oh, lovely. You're very welcome. No worries, thanks very I much. I will yep. catch your loco tomorrow. Not a problem. Thanks very, very much. Thank Cheers. You. Uh, 
um, I'll get the point. So I uh, said, yeah, so I've got to pull the check valve out. Guess what I've got to do to pull the check valve out? Pull the gauge glass apart. And that's quite a big job, is it? I'll have a look in here. I've got to take that bottom fitting out, first of all, right, from that, and then that nut out, before I can turn this. And then I can't turn it until I take the top one out. Can you do it here? I'm not, I'm not. The guys will help you, you know. Oh, I know they've helped me. But... Yeah. Okay, this was some clinker, which was inside this, this logo here right next to you. 3609. You had a bit of trouble steaming yesterday. I wonder why. You can, as you can see, not allowing air to get through. But he has a rosebud grate. And you might see there's some little tiny holes in amongst it. And apparently what that was doing was actually forcing the air through it. But that's the Bacchus Mars jar for you.